What is up guys, this is Zach from Angler's Escape and in front of me I have the last two months of mystery tackle box that I want to show you guys and I also want to go over some tips and tricks on how to find some really great fishing spots right by you. So for me, I always am on Google Maps and I've been surprised how many spots I found in the last six months or so of just creeks, ponds, lakes that I didn't know existed and they're all within a few miles of my house because I looked them up on Google Maps. The other thing for fishing that's real nice is to keep a little telescopic rod in your car. You never know when you're gonna run into a place where you can do some fishing after school or work on your way home. But let's go ahead and get into the mystery tackle boxes. So this is the box for April. The first thing we got here is a chunk tail grub for great for drop shots and uh, Carolina rigs. We got another plastic exo swim four inch have to try give that a try and this bait right here I actually had some luck just last weekend on it I put it back in the box to show you guys but I caught some crappie and some bass on it it's a nice square build crankbait worked really well it's a BD series oh, got one guys on the square build crankbait let's try to get him out of those weeds it's a crappie big old crappie Look at that, mystery tackle box on that square bill. Can't beat the square bills this time of year. They're pretty shallow running the last few days. It's been in the mid 70s, so a lot of these fish have been coming a little shallower. And these square billed crankbaits usually run three to four feet deep. But that is a nice crappie. Not a bad fish on the mystery tackle box, square billed crankbait. Oh, got one. There we go. Another crappie. Another crappie on the square bill. This one's even a little bigger. This is a nice size crappie right there. Look at that, guys. I just pause that crankbait for a second. He nailed it. We got some hook bonnets. This is just a guard so you don't get your lure hooked into stuff. So especially if you're keeping rod and reels in your car or something, these are nice to put around the hooks just so they don't grab into stuff on your car. So I'll have to try those out. Never tried them before. Here's uh, some more little plastics. I love these three to four inch plastics for these ponds. They're great sizes for drop shots and those pond bass. And then this lure I tried out, it has, I put it back in the box as well to show you guys, but it has great action. It's actually a top water and these things spin phenomenally well. I only tried it out a few casts just to see how it works, but it is a great top water. It creates a ton of action and really mimics something like running across the water real fast. And then finally, guys, we got a spinner bait. Can't go wrong with these, especially on those warm, sunny days where the there's a lot of reflection on the water. And then we got a trailer hook. And what you do with these trailer hooks is you can actually hook it on to the back of this hook so you have a second hook coming out. And then that way you have a better chance of hooking up with the bass if they bite down. And so that's the nice thing about the mystery tackle boxes is you get stuff like these trailer hooks that you've never thought about before and then you can attach them to your spinner baits and you get that extra hookup ratio and so it just kind of forces you to try new things. And then of course every month you usually get a little pamphlet showing kind of what the lures are, how much they cost and all that. So let's go ahead and go through the month of March. And so we got a, first off we got a huge swim bait. This could be great for pike and huge bass. I'll have to try that out at some point. Some more plastic worms, can't ever go wrong with these. I run out of them so quickly, especially on those drop shot and wacky rigging them. And there's all kinds of different ways to rig these worms. The bass just love them. I got another flipping jig. Can't go wrong with these with heavy cover. And then we got another little crankbait, the runt. And I actually tried this one out. It's really interesting. It actually sinks. So most crankbaits that I use are suspending or they float. This one sinks down so you can let it sink a little ways and then bring it in. It's got a nice like wobbling action all the way in. So definitely excited to try this out a little bit more. We got some brush bands, which is something I haven't used before. And so basically these brush bands, what they allow you to do is you stick them onto your flipping jig and you can flip them on at different angles to increase your hookup ratio as well as decrease snags. So something new to try out as well for those brush jigs. Got some more plastics. These, uh, I actually tried some of them and I caught a bass on them. I'll show you that clip. And these have some really great scent. They're salted Kevin Van Dam. I really like the Kevin Van Dam products. All right, guys, just got a nice bass. Unfortunately, I wasn't filming when I caught him, but it's early March. We had a warm front the last couple of days. It's been in the 70s, and I'm just using a little drop shot from the Mystery Tackle Box. This is one of the Kevin Van Dam. It's about a three to four inch uh, little worm, and then I got a small hook right here, and uh, about six inches below that, I got a little bit of weight just to drop shot these, but uh, this guy really put up a fight for his size. I'm gonna go ahead and release him. Hopefully, we catch some more today. 
We're catching quite a few fish on the mystery tackle box. It's nice to get out here. I have two boxes from the last couple months. Let's see, I think this is the April box, and then I have here the uh, March box. Working pretty well. It's nice to try out some new baits, and uh, let's get this guy back in the water. And finally, we got some plastic crawfish. And so I'll definitely have to try out these, especially in the creeks and stuff. I find that a lot of the bass are feeding on these crawfish, which so should work really well. And the last thing is, is some pegs. And what these are, they're kind of like a bobber stop basically, but they're usually for bullet weights. And so if you're using a Carolina rig for bass, you put this on your line and then it stops your bullet weight from sliding up your line when you're using that Carolina rig. So another cool, interesting thing to try out. So I hope you learned something here today. Go on Google Maps, get yourself a telescopic rod to keep in the car for emergencies. And I hope you find some good fishing spots. And thanks for watching. And as always, good luck fishing.